Well, folks, we are back, and and if you take a look at what you're seeing, you can see something magical happen. Um, no, so I kind of forgot what happens with that whole rumble thing. So I reloaded to save, played back up to where we should have been. This is the cave um, that we didn't come to. Here's the three treasure chests. That's got a shuriken in it. Now, I didn't go back so far that we didn't let Lone Wolf out, but I'm here to show you a pretty good um, job level spot. This guy only has one hit point. He's got crazy high attack, crazy high defense. Like, he'll one hit kill anybody right now. We kill him, we get five battle points. Now, the other thing this dude can do is he could run away. If he runs away, you don't get the money. You don't get the experience, but you still get the battle points. Uh huh? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why we're here. <clears throat> Just getting some job levels. The only thing we fight are the brown nut eaters, which are pretty much some of the weakest enemies in the game. And the gray nut eaters, which are some of the strongest enemies in the game. Now you know. That doesn't happen often, but it does happen. And when it does, it's nice, because that's just a free five points. Um, I want Ferris to level three this. I want Lena to level three that. These two, I really don't care. We're just We're just filling holes. It's empty. Darn. Ah, oh, Great Thief Lone Wolf was here. It's not stealing if you take it out of a chest, buddy. Just saying. <clears throat> Way out. Well, there's two, actually. This is one of them. Takes us right here. Which just so happens to be right where we were last time. And nice. That's what we missed. I thought there was something else. Um, well, let's just, uh... Ooh, there's a thing. We can't do anything with that thing. Let's go talk to, um... a resident old stuff experts and see if they can tell us anything about this.
Very convenient. Very convenient. This game is full of those conveniences. Like, oh, yeah, well, it just so happens to be. Like, we get finally get a boat, we come here, our boat sinks, oh no, we're stranded. But the last living black chocobo in the world lives right here, so we can leave. So then we leave, and then we find out, oh no, there's an airship, which is also very convenient. Like, like the dragon. We went and found the dragon. That's very convenient. It's one of the reasons I don't particularly like this game. It's lots of conveniences. Um, you know, if you're playing along at home, you might want to get some uh, ice magic ready. Just saying. Should we see where this takes us? No, it doesn't work. For whatever reason. Adam Antium. Named after the singer. Uh oh. Oh no, purple circles. So this is Adamantwa, or Adamantimi, whatever. This is a turtle. We fought him in Final Fantasy II. He's basically the same exact turtle. You fight him the basic same exact way. Or... Yeah, it works too. He's got 2,000 hit points, he's got really high defense, he's got really high strength. Yeah, crap all for magic defense. Um, another fun way to do it is to train up a monk, give him guard, and then let him counterattack the thing to death. So, yeah, that's an option. Dumb option. It's an option. <clears throat> it's really just... Oh no, we need this thing. Uh, we got the thing. Oh boy, the thing. Did you see that through a telescope too, you dopes? This place is full of monsters, right? Also, no one's like, how do we get that high? How did we need to go? We needed to go that high. How does adamantium help us go that high? How does putting it on the engine help us go that high? Had such a great success rate before, haven't we? All right. 
want to do now... Throw on a little summon. Uh, swap that on out. And I think we should be good. So... It's not as exciting as it looks. We're just gonna fly into it. That's really how this works. So it's got some fire and some stupid stuff like that. But since everything's a robot, we can, uh... We can just, uh... Sword it to death. Galif should have that. Um, or do you have it? You have it. I don't want you to have that. You take that. We're gonna give Galif the Thunder Sword. We could summon Rama and do a little... Great. Thanks for missing, buddy. Really appreciate it when you do that. It makes my day. Makes my day. Aim every turn. That would be the smart thing to do. I don't have anything that's going to be super helpful here. Um, that. The other thing we can do is this. Which I don't know if it doubles. You know, since we've got the uh, Thunder Element Sword already equipped. That would be neat, wouldn't it? Guess we'll find out. Nah, probably not. What we should do is give um, Lena summon. Ferris will just be on heal duty for this whole thing. Why didn't I aim? Such bad animation. Final Fantasy IV had better animation. Final Fantasy IV had better everything. And look, look, hold on. Top right hand corner. Are we not on the airship fighting the cannons? Is that not what's going on here? Seems silly to me. Um, hell, does it really matter to mention it? Another one. This one's rockets. That just halves your health and confuses you. It's exactly what you want. I guess that thunder doesn't really do much, does it? Good job. Oh, I keep going down too. It's because she's not a she's not a white wizard. That's why I keep doing it. Oh, just fight. Oh, that's bad. Crisis averted. And we learned uh, two new, um, 
blue badges, which I completely forgot were here. Very exciting. That exciting. Should do it. Hooray for victory. Ether. Probably should have healed. It'll probably be fine. We do tend to do things relatively quickly after, you know, selecting the thing to do. And this one's not going to do enough damage to kill anybody. Really, buddy? Master Hunter. If anybody dies, I'm blaming you. Is there an earthquake in the sky? Why does this need to exist? Like, were there other flying civilizations that these guys felt the need to uh, defend themselves against? Nine. Yeah, it's probably better. Okay, <clears throat> um Let's go for it. Saul cannon and a launcher. So it's just a So yeah, that's gonna do some old. Which is nice. Her. Oh, cross gauge luminosity. Love cross gauge luminosity. It's one of my favorite things ever. It is such a boring summon. All the summons are boring. Oh, the safety lock released? It's great news. Never been prouder. Explosive's pressure is increased. Oh man. It's gonna be a great day. Can't tell you how proud it makes me. Look at it. Everybody's old. Anti shock, anti flash shield on. Spoiler alert. That 
gets rid of the launchers. This is, I wanted to build up the tension. Well, he's gonna fire. The worst part about that attack isn't so much that it hurts, because it does hurt, but it also drains your health, which sucks. Then he's not going to do it for a little while, and he'll be dead before he can do it again. I'm just going to have you heal every turn. Butts will aim, and Gallop will attack, and Lena's going to summon Rama. Don't need to do that. The problem is, our stats drop when we're olded. We get a little slower, we get a little weaker. That'll help. health than I thought. And I cast the wrong spell. Because I'm a dullard. <clears throat> 100 experience points for that. Oh no, we're not flying anymore. We're going to fall. their front door behind the gun. Really? Really? It's just silly. It'd be nice to have a bed so we could sleep, wouldn't it? Or would. Um, I'm just going to, uh... Man, life's expensive. 29 MP. That'll work for now. Lonka Nights. Let's see what terrain we get. Not too bad. Take that, you've been muted, you jerk. Um, let's get you some health back. It's terrain again. Why not? that ether. But I will. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. I think. Oh, I had that on to help deal with the nut eater. Gold armor. Stoned masks, huh? Yep, that takes care of them. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, uh, we, have, we, have, we have this. We can do that. Since Vampire works so well and it's a whopping 2 MP. Oh, that didn't work as well. I'm disappointed, Vampire. That works well, though. Level 2. We're ever closer. Oh, I see an item over here. See a way to get it right there. And elixir. This game hands elixirs out like crazy. Um. Continue looking around. It's a world demon. Oh, he absorbs wind. That's terrible news. I think we'll be fine. Um, we've seen everybody. Vampire it is. Yeah, it was really useful that first cast. I don't care if we keep the that thing alive. It's fine. Ooh. I didn't know you knew that. We want that. We're gonna have to try and control one of them. I love White Wind. It's one of my favorite healing spells ever. And if I'm not being a dummy, um, you're the only one who has it. So you take that. You will take Terrain. Okay. We already have a blue mage. So that's not a big deal. We want to go this way. I don't know if we did. Let's go back. This place is a little weird. I think there's a chest right there. But we gotta go through a different door to get to it. That's nice. Take that. more stuff. I swear there is. And this is like a one and done kind of thing, if I remember right. So we want to be kind of careful. That looks like progress. Lamia. That's no good. They do that terrible, charmy stuff. I wonder why that's the only attack we're getting. I'm not complaining. It's a great attack, but you know, there should be more than that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. 
We got him. Gotta hit him once or twice. White wind us. Didn't we white wind us? Oh, there we go. Perfect. So if you don't know, the way white wind works is it restores the amount of health to all characters that the caster's health is equal to time of casting. That makes sense? So... If Lana uses it right now, it gives everybody 600. If she takes 100 damage, it gives everybody 500. Basically, um, it'll double your caster's health. It's expensive. Um, that, it's, it's half. 28. But here's the thing. The more health we have when we cast it, the more health we get back. So... Potentially best healing spell in the game, I think. It's just, you know, don't rely on it in a pinch if your caster is low on health, because then you're going to be screwed. Okay. Uh, this was the save room, right? Yeah. You don't want that. Maybe wanting, be wanting to switch Butts' job here. Not because the, uh, you know, Hunter's a bad job, but what's coming up, I don't think it's going to be super useful. We want this. There's more stuff. I oh boy. It's our jobs looking anyway. Yeah, not great. Not terrible. Not great. <clears throat> Gallif will be ready to make a change here before too long. Ah, this is what I want. Oh no! That sucks bad. That's why we need that, uh, Geomancer. So Gallif just got a new job level. Let's go ahead and make him Geomancer. A dumb idea, but we're doing it. Um, let's give you... You don't need control anymore. Let's give him aim. We have two aims, we can aim twice as gooder. You have terrain. You have summon. Okay. That's fine. So here's how terrain works. You just you just find it. That's all. That's, that's how that works. You just find it. Um so we got a new sword. A couple of them full moons. So how about we change butts? Make you a Mystic Knight for now. With Man, I don't even know. 
counter will be fine. It's really what we're coming up to deal with that's terrible. That job. But he's one point away from a level, so... Oh no! Yeah, that's kind of how that goes. Um, we didn't look at the left side, so let's go do that. Nothing. Okay, then. It's an arachnid toad. Oh no. Oh, he's been somethinged. Well, I guess Ferris doesn't need terrain anymore. I'm not playing this very smart. supposed to be mini? I don't remember. Hey, you're supposed to be silenced. Guess it didn't stick. That's fine. There. Let's, let's finish his job. Good job. Now what do I want you to do? I had a decent, uh... This isn't actually a bad idea. It's not a great idea. But it's not a bad idea. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Yeah, we'll take the door. You know, Berserker gets slept on a lot because you can't control your character. And in some situations, that's absolutely terrible. You don't want that to happen. But it's not going to be too bad for what we're running into. I just realized this video's going long. I am sorry. We'll just, you know, this one will be long. We've had a short one. This will make up for it. Besides, I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do. It'll probably be fine. Just having such a good time playing the game for you guys. Tell you what, we'll get to that save point. We'll call it an episode. I think that's a fine idea. Oh, look, more stuff. Is this a save point? Oh boy, it is. Uh, one tent, please. See you guys next time in a shorter video.